Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are watching this video tutorial from Peter right here. Today I find something very interesting that I really want to share with you. I think you also find this useful. I noticed that AWS uh, is actually doing the certification challenge that is going to start on January the 9th and it's going to end February the 2nd, 2023. I think we should jump on this right now. And this is actually a fundamental exam, which is not that hard, I guess. All you have to do to get to this page is to click on the link above or below this video, depends on where you're watching it from. So once you get here, you go ahead and fill up your information right here. You click on register. Once you get to the other page, it's going to show something similar to this that you are in. Thank you for registering. After that, you scroll down a little bit to complete all these steps. The most important step right here is step two, where you need to reserve your seat for this day. Place is very important. If you click on this link, you will get something that looks like this, where you need to re-enter your information. So I don't find it as any problem, you know, just re-enter that information again. After that, you get to this page that thank you so much for registering and you should receive a confirmation email with the access link shortly. At the time of recording this video, I have not received any email from Amazon yet, but I know they are going to send me an email. So after that, you can click on the trainings and start browsing the, the store that they have, you know, and you can play around with it if you have some time. So do the same thing for these and also do the same thing for the exam readiness. Once you finish that registration, you want to log into your AWS uh, skill builder. This account is not automatically created for you. You have to expand and create one account. I don't need to do that because I already have like AWS account. So if you don't have one, you might want to register. One thing I find confusing right here once I click on that is this. There are two options right here, the root user and the identity access management user. So if you are new, I will recommend you to go ahead and choose the root user. If you're not new, you don't need to register anything anymore. But let me explain a little bit the AIM user for you. For example, let's say you're an admin over an organization and you really want to delegate user to have access to this then you can go ahead and use the identity access management user for your employees or your trainees so in this case let's go back once you are logged into the skill builder dashboard then you will see something like this you know you scroll down I think uh, the real okay. You see something like this, where you need to have your courses and all. There's a couple of them that is actually for free. You can see, you can see that right here, you know, for free. And there's some that require you to have a subscription. In my case, we're going with the free one. As we can see, I already enrolled into this. So if I click on that, I can actually start learning. You know start looking at what they have and what they offer you know learning new technology but in this case for the sake of this video i'm not going to do that i will do it later so i think after that then you schedule your exam one important thing before you go is that please make sure that you attend once you get your confirmation email make sure you attend this event the reason is because you might get a free voucher that might actually give you the opportunity to write this exam for free. With that being said, if you have any question, please put it down in the comment section. I will be very glad to answer that. It's me again, Peter. I hope to see you in my next video. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye for now.